What's that? Me? Yeah. yeah. Questions of color? Okay. Yeah. No, that's a switch. <laughs> Mr. Muldoon. <laughs> okay. This again will be done. Well, be done on a roll call vote. Even though we only have one applicant. I don't have the. Um, Motion. Yeah, I don't have the motion. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Mr. Mr. Chairman, I move to nominate William A. Palladino, 5 Utility Park West, to fill the vacancy on the North Reading Housing Authority to the next town election on May 7, 2002. Second. Motion made in the second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. <coughs> okay, we will do this on a roll call vote. Mr. Muldoon. Aye. Mr. Murphy. Aye. Mr. Rowe. Aye. Mr. Vino. Aye. Mr. Carrier. Aye. Mr. Sands. Absent. Absent. Mr. Blackwood. Aye. Mrs. O'Leary. Aye. <coughs> Okay, I want to thank you very much, and I want to is Mr. Palladino here? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. <laughs> I want to thank you for, for applying, and um, as Mr. Rowe said, I, I don't think we can get a better candidate. Thank you very much. Mr. Yen. Uh, Mr. Palladino, please see the town clerk to be sworn in to your position as an officially staff to run. What's the times? Uh, 8 until 4 Monday through Thursday until 1 on Friday. If that's a problem, please call us and we'll try to make up the arrangement. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Board. Thanks again. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Frank Delaney, 18 Lowell Road. Second. Motion made and second. Further discussion? Mr. Rowe. Uh, yes. Uh, why is this a reappointment? And is this the only name? This is the only name, and he has been, um, he's been previously appointed for that fire. He's, he's the, Mr. Chairman, if I could, he's the one and only member of the housing partnership. Uh, and actually, Mr. Delaney is here, and perhaps we could give him a moment to, to describe what the partnership does and, and make a sort of make a picture appeal for, uh, for some citizens to come forward so we can round out, fill out that committee, and uh, get them up and going. Excuse me. Thank you. 
I've been out of the country. I just got back last night. I forgot that I was supposed to be here tonight. No problem. I was here on the other issue. But yes, Dana, uh, in answer, Mr. Rowe, in answer to your question, my term runs out December 31st. So members of the housing partnership, just like most committees, they, they run, you know, one runs out every year. Unfortunately, over the past three or four years, as other members, their term has expired. They have just fallen by the wayside. So right now, we have a committee of one, which is me. Um, I have talked to one other gentleman that was on a committee previously, and he may be willing to come back if we have something specific to act upon. Uh, right now, there is some talk about the possibility of some affordable housing or a project coming forward. And if it does, we definitely are going to have a need and of more members, and we also should have more members, even though we don't have anything in front of us right now, because I totally intend with my position of the executive director of the Housing Authority and being reappointed to the Housing Partnership, I would like to, you know, explore avenues. Uh, the government, the state is funding more money assuming we, we don't get cut down now because of the incidents that happened in September. But this is something that's it's coming to the forefront, and it's here. It's not in the future. It's here right now. And I feel now's the time, if we're going to do anything in this town, we should start. So I really would like to appeal to some people in the community to come forward and volunteer. If they have any questions, feel free to call me at the Housing Authority or at home, and I'd be happy to answer them the best I could. And uh, Selectman Murphy is our liaison to the housing partnership, so you can contact either him, him or myself, and we'll go from there. Okay? That's all I have. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Rowe. Yeah, how many are supposed to be on the committee? We had five or six at one time when we were going through the Plop Avenue project. Or actually, it's Fairview Estates, but at the end of Plop Avenue. But we had a couple of people move out of town, or out of state, and, and then others just fell by the wayside as their term expired. Well, I think perhaps. It's, I, think it's, I think it's five, Dana, but I'll put perhaps easy. higher if we could get seven. That would be wonderful. Well, right, but yeah, you, <laughs> I'd like to just get the five first. <laughs> but perhaps we should uh, maybe, uh, as, as you mentioned, if it's going to be that you know, important, especially in the near future, we should uh, maybe put a little ad to see if we can't. Uh, generate some interest somehow to see if we could get some more people. Yeah, see, we've made general appeals, and, and the thought was possibly to maybe <coughs> appeal to the transcript, maybe to you know, get a little blurb in there uh, stating what it's all about and, and what a need we really do have. Because one of the things that we are woefully inadequate on is you know, our quota, quote, unquote, of affordable housing in the town. And it's just going to be a matter of time, be it next year, two, three, four years from now, that the state is eventually just going to turn the key and say, okay, you guys haven't been doing your share. And until you show that you're stepping up to the plate, we'll never make our quota because the quota is just too high at this point for us to realistically believe that we can do it. But if we show a good faith effort, towards that, then I think we can forestall any problems with the state. Okay. Uh, okay. If I may just yes. add yes. on to that. Yeah, I, I've spoken to Frank several times, and, and this board has had this discussion several times, and this is a critical area, and I think that the community needs to step forward and and, and, and work on this issue, and, and the first step in that is to, is to have some citizens volunteer to, to get involved in the partnership, so that we can uh, we can have some evidence that, that we're we're trying to do something on this on this particular issue. Exactly. Okay. Any further questions, comments? Okay. Uh, we will do a roll call vote on this appointment also, Mr. Rowe. Uh, for Mr. Malay. Aye. Mr. Muldoon. Aye. Mr. Murphy. Aye. And Mr. Dino Rose. Aye. Thank you very much. Thanks for your support. Now, give me help. <laughs> well, <laughs> we try. We try. We try. We try. I have 8 o'clock. <coughs> Mr. 
Mr. Chairman, I move to reappoint Harold Reynolds, Jr., 109 Park Street, as a process serving constable for a term to expire December 31st, 2002. Second. Motion made in the second. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, as a comment, I want to make a comment that uh, the reason this came in now rather than in December was Mr. Reynolds, I didn't have Mr. Reynolds' paperwork yet, but I've since received it and everything is in order. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll do a roll call vote also. Mr. Rowe? Aye. Mr. Mulder? Aye. Mr. Murphy? Aye. And Mr. Dino votes aye. Thank you. Show cause hearing for Christopher's Market. Mr. Kimberwala, am I saying that correct, sir? No. Forgive me if I'm not. He is out of the town, Amit Patel, Rakesh Agarwal. Excuse me. Can I see the question? I didn't understand yes. the question, I'm sorry. Mr. Kimberwala is out of town. So oh, Amit, okay. Amit Patel, Rakesh Agarwal. Could you spell that, please? R A K E S H. Okay. Last name A G G. G G. Yes, A R W A L. Okay. We also have Detective Murphy and the police chief. Yeah, I'd like to find out first: is, is, is the establishment being represented by the attorney or? The how are they going to Do you have an attorney process here, sir? Yes, proceed on this. No, they do not. Okay. I guess it would be their choice, Chief, not to. That's, that's correct. Um, could we have a report from... Well, first of all, I'd just like to say that, uh, you know, every year we... Uh, the police department uh, conducts a uh, compliance check on alcohol and tobacco uh, at least once or twice a year. And uh, certain criteria we, uh, we have to follow and guidelines by the ABCC. And what we do is we uh, we hire a minor who go along with the detectives and they go into various establishments. There's certain guidelines set, set forth. Uh, with that, uh, I'll let Detective Murphy, uh, Mike Murphy, uh, give you a synopsis of what transpired on the day of question. Thank you, Chief. Detective Murphy, yes. Thank you, Chief. On November 30th, myself and Detective Romeo conducted alcohol compliance checks throughout the town at various establishments and liquor license. Um, approximately 7 o'clock, went to Christopher's Market and brought a photo of a, a youth that we sent in. We sent a 15-year-old youth into the establishment with a $10 bill, asked him to purchase alcohol um, and pursue to the guidelines. He did come out with a six-pack of Budweiser beer. At that time, we recorded it. Um, approximately two hours later, we went back to the establishment and we talked to a, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, a Rakesh Narula. Yes, he is. The guy working there, yes. He was working there. He was, he was working the counter. And we went inside with the youth. We explained to him that he had sold the beer earlier. He admitted to it. He apologized. He was um, very apologetic. said he was very busy at the time and he did not call his person. So he had, you know, he wasn't compliant and we facts that we <coughs> brought a report forward to the chief and action was taken. Thank you. <coughs> I might add, uh, Mr. Chairman, that we have had any problems with this establishment uh, prior years ago under new uh, ownership, but not under this new ownership. We owned this store for seven years. And we, we haven't had a problem. We had three guys working there all that time. Problem happened month of November because my other guys, they are from Muslim religion. They had a month of Ramadan. They were fasting that month. And Friday considered their holiest day. And they had to do some religious ceremony that night. So they, he called me. He said, I cannot work tonight. So I 